today we continue to learn chapter 4 about linear least square regression model. In the notes, we have learned how to solve the example 1 using a calculator. Now I would like to show you how we're gonna to solve the same example 1 using the Microsoft Excel. In regression model, we should get the function looks like this. So we are going to determine the value of AO and A1. Here are the data of X and Y given in the questions. There are 8 sets of data. So we will put N equal to 8. Let's see how we label the 8 sets in the column I. If you click the cells, you will see a plus at the bottom right corner. If you drag down the column, it shows the function of copy. As you can see, there are many functions available. You just click the field series. Then you will get the numerical sequence in cells automatically. Now we look at the formula of AO and A1. Here are the data we have to collect from the Excel. So we start with x2, x squared, and x times y function. Next, how do we calculate the square of the x value? We just click the cell, enter the power formula. Then we double click. We choose the number with a comma. Then we key in the power that we want, which is 2. And then we close the bracket, enter. Then we get the result. Alternatively, we also can just key in the formula. We click the number, insert the symbol of power, 2. We get the same answer. To copy the formula, we just drag down along the column. Look, we can fill in the cell just a second. How about x times y? I believe you can do it. We just key in the formula. Then enter. We drag down along the column so that we can fill in the cells with similar formula. Okay, now we will determine the summations of x, y, x squared, and xy. We will record all the sum at the row 12. We enter the formula sum. Then we double click it. We choose the number starts from cell C4 until cell C11. Then just enter. We get the result. To copy the sum formula, we just drag it along the row. That's it. To get the mean of x and mean y, we key in the formula average. We choose average, double click it, and we choose the range of the numbers that we want. Click enter. Same formula goes to y, so we can get the mean y result. Alright, after we get all the data, we can now calculate the AO and A1. We just key in the formula correctly. Then, we can get the answers. Here is the linear least square regression function. After that, we should analyze the error. We will determine the standard error and also the coefficient of determination R squared. Let us look at the formula what data is needed. We need to calculate the ST and SR. So here are the formula for ST and SR. 
we need to develop another table. Actually, you can also combine the data with the first table. Then we determine the power of these two functions. You can choose to key in like this formula or just choose the power function. How about the calculation of AO plus A1X? We must remember that the X is, ever, is variable, but the AO and A1 are fixed values. So when we key in the formula, we must key in this symbol to look up the fixed value. If let's say you do not look up the fixed value, so I remove the symbol, looks as money symbol, I remove. Let's see what happened. You will get the wrong answer. Why? Because you can see AO and A1 value are jumped through the different cell. But not fixed. Okay, so let us fix it back. We copy back the correct formula. So these are the answers. Now we can get the standard error. Just key in this formula. This is the square root, so we key in the formula square root. Then we get the answer. Same to R square, where we we'll key in the formula ST minus XR divided by ST. Then we will get the answer. Let's double check with the answer that we have determined using the calculator. That's correct. Now, we try to plot a graph using the raw data. We insert the scattered plot. We right click at the data plot. We add the train line. We choose linear and also to display, click the display equation and R square value on the chart. So we double check with the answer that we have got from the Excel. We have done. So 88.05% of the original uncertainty has been explained by the linear model. Won't you think the Microsoft Excel is a fast tool to determine the least square regression model? Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.